Now today we are very lucky to have Ollie Richards back on the show. Ollie, welcome back. Thanks, it's uh, good to be back. And remember, Ollie is a polyglot, which means he has multiple languages. I'm only joking, Ollie. Look, you're a good sport for coming back on. But look, after last time, it got me thinking. You learn all of these languages, but it turns out it was a complete waste of time. Uh, why is that? Well, because now, these days, you've got the Google Translate, haven't you? So literally anything you want to say, just stick it into Google. So you've wasted all of your time. How do you feel about that? Well, I wouldn't say I've wasted my time, really. I mean, I actually really value being able to talk to people in their own language. So for example, I remember a time when I, you don't need to talk to them, Ollie, just whack it in the app and show them what you want. Couple of taps, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, but I actually really enjoy making the effort. I think it's really important to show that you can actually, Ollie, you've even got these new headphones. Have you, have you, you seen these headphones on Instagram? Translator headphones, mate. You stick them in, it translates everything for you into English. Ah, Italian. Italian. Italian or Swedish? Italian or Swedish? Or Turkish? Swedish or Turkish? Swedish and Turkish. Or Swedish and Italian. Swedish and Italian and Turkish. Good choice. What kind of person calls themselves a polyglot? Well, that's people that speak a number of languages. I mean, talk about pretentious. Who do you think you are? Uh, okay, uh, it's, is there another word you'd rather that I use to talk about learning lots of languages? I mean, calling yourself a polyglot, it just smacks of overconfidence, unctuousness, arrogance. Ah, Ollie, I really needed this holiday. Good job on choosing Spain. Ah, yeah, it is really great to be here. Hey, uh, you hungry? You wanna get something to eat? Yeah, I could eat something. Maybe um, un bocadillo, una tapita. A bocadillo, yeah, let's get a couple of bocadillos. It sounds, sounds great. Look, there's a place just over there, look. Yeah, uh, hi there, senor. Uh, a couple of, two chicken sandwiches, please, mate. Uh, chicken sandwiches, a couple of them, please. Uh, chicken, you know chicken? Chicken sandwiches, yeah. So Ollie, I was, uh, I was curious, when you speak different languages, does your personality change with each language? Uh, Peut-être, je sais pas. Je crois pas que ça change beaucoup, mais uh, bon, c'est possible. De jeito nenhum, rapaz. Ó, vou te falar uma coisa. Eu sou eu, entendeu? A minha personalidade não muda pra ninguém, tá ligado? Não importa a língua, não importa o país, não importa com quem tô falando. Ah, eu sou ですね。難しいな。性格が変わるってこと。それはちょっとちょっとわかんないな。すいません。けど、ケクラシでプレゴンテセサティオとクレケセメカミアラペーソナリダミ。だろうか。So that's a, a yes, I suppose. Yeah, I guess so. So um you speak eight languages, yeah? Yeah, that's right. See, uh, I saw that video on YouTube. You didn't know how to say fruit bat, did you? In any of your languages? Uh, no, 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 I didn't. So me, right? I can order a beer in seven languages. So I guess I should just call myself a polyglot too, right? Um, no, no, I, I wouldn't say so. Polyglots are fake because well, this one guy, I saw this video he made. He made a video where he said, I love you in 27 languages. And he called the video, Polyglot speaks 27 languages perfectly, shocks everybody. So you found a silly video on YouTube. Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> no, it's polyglots, mate. They're all fake. What, like, all of them? There are literally no polyglots. No. 
Okay, time to learn some French. Okay, maybe I should try some reading. Oof. Okay, shadowing. Let's try that. Il y a très longtemps, existait un royaume. I think I need a new method. I'm tired. I'm going to try again tomorrow. I'm going to bed. We are back with Oli Richards. Now, Oli, I've really got to ask you all these languages that you've learned. What is your secret? My secret? Well, I wouldn't say there's any secret, really. I've just worked really, really hard at languages. Yeah, but what is your secret? What do you mean? Your secret for language learning? I mean, take me, right? I, I took a class. I tried learning French. I took a class in 1987, but I don't remember a thing today. So what's your secret? Well, I've actually learned languages in many different ways, but you know, in each case, I've just studied very, very hard, often for years at a time. I know, it's Duolingo, isn't it? You know what? You should give it a try. Nah, sounds too much like hard work.